Remember the autistic teenage girl who was pursued to her home by police and then dragged out of it in handcuffs for saying an officer looked like her lesbian grandma? Yeah, well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Get a load of this. The same police force responsible for that farce, West Yorkshire Police, hunted down and interrogated an elderly woman in her own home for a thought crime so beyond the pale it will make you shudder. The elderly woman, Eve, took a photograph of a sticker that said keep males out of women only spaces. Call in the SWAT team. <laughs> This is the offending sticker in question. This. And she didn't even put it there. Out for a walk, Eve, who is in her 70s, saw the sticker posted on a trans pride poster outside of the Happy Valley Pride organization. She thought it was interesting and snapped a picture. Then four weeks later, she gets a knock on the door from two male police officers, saying they were investigating a complaint on behalf of Happy Valley Pride because of the sensitivity for members of the LGBT community. They'd apparently given CCTV of this dangerous thought criminal and her home address to the cops and for the hateful act of taking a photo of an inanimate object on the pavement outside a building on a public street, the woman was given a 30 minute lecture and warned about the quote harassment and alarm this sticker could potentially cause the community. Note how this particular thought crime defacing a party poster is literally lifted directly out of that bit in the 1984 movie. Thought crime is death. Thought crime does not entail death. Thought crime is death self. Many hours of my free time encouraging my agents to deface party posters. I mean, I know Orwellian is an overused cliche, but good God! Despite acknowledging that no crime had been committed, the incident was catalogued as a non-crime hate incident by West Yorkshire Police. Which basically means that if there's anyone who claims to be offended by anything, then it automatically gets logged as a hate incident and must be investigated. Eve noted that most burglaries in her area do not result in an in-person police visit. Hello. Police please. I think there's a robber in my house. Could you come quickly? I think he's armed. Of course. We'll be there right away. Help. He's attacking me. He just shot me. Help me, I'm dying. Bear in mind, this is in West Yorkshire, which has the second highest crime rate in the UK. With violent crime, actual crime continuing to rise. Bear in mind, just today, the Home Secretary is again having to promise that all thefts will be investigated by police, because in many cases they're just not responding to them. Latest figures show that only 3.9% of residential burglaries result in someone being charged, and even fewer, 1.8% for vehicle theft, and just 0.9% for thefts from the person result in a charge. In the vast majority of cases, they can't even identify a suspect, express a whiff of dissent towards the alphabet people, though, and they'll be round your house in a heartbeat. Oh, please, show me your hand! Can you believe I'm 40 years old? Where did all the years go? A horrifying thought, but not quite as horrifying as if I actually looked 40 years old. I was getting my hair cut the other day, and the guy said late 20s. I'll take it. You wanna know my secret? Well, it's not rocket science. It's called moisturising your face on a regular basis with a good product. Which brings me to Tej Hanley. No doubt, like me, you were constantly flipping between different skincare products. Different brands for different parts of your face. Well, simplify everything by using the Tej Hanley skincare system routine. Face wash in the morning. Wash. Really refreshing. Wakes up your face like a strong cup of coffee. Super serum. Boom. Locks in that good moisture. Eye cream. Wash. Totally smooth. Doesn't irritate. No sting whatsoever. AM moisturiser. Boom. Eliminates any tightness, dryness, and you get that SPF 20 layer of sun protection. Then repeat at night, but with the PM moisturizer Wash. to keep your skin hydrated as you sleep. Then exfoliate or scrub twice a week with the... Well, it's the scrub. Boom! Clears out all those clogged pores and dead skin cells. I've been using Tej Hanley for about three weeks now. And even in winter, when your skin suffers the most, it's been a delight. For what I was paying for just one moisturizer, I get all this with Tej Hanley for the same price. And it does a better job. My skin looks and feels better than ever. Don't take my word for it. Go and read over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. Uncomplicated skincare that's simple, affordable, and effective. Fragrance-free, made in the USA, never tested on animals, and peace of mind knowing that you're not
not funding those big corporate brands that try to monopolise the industry. Get a monthly subscription, then you'll never have to worry about forgetting to order or running out. And by supporting my sponsors, you support your boy here. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring this video, if you click the link in the description below, you lucky devils get 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. So don't miss out, click the link in the description. Now back to the video. Let's not forget, cases like this are still commonplace. Nearly a year after the Home Secretary told police chiefs to focus on tackling actual crime and not enforcing politically correct speech codes. And they're still doing it. They took no notice whatsoever. And if you think this is an isolated case, ooh, I've got two more zingers for you. Conservative councillor Anthony Stevens was arrested and held in custody for nine hours. Wow, must have done something really terrible, right? He tweeted a link to a petition asking people to support another councillor's right to express his Christian beliefs. Send in the SWAT team! During another unannounced police home visit, Stephen said that police showed him his own tweets expressing support for Councillor Lawal and asked him why he supported the petition. Lawal himself had committed the cardinal sin of offending the alphabet people by writing, quote, When did pride become a thing to celebrate because of pride Satan fell as an archangel? Pride is not a virtue, but a sin. Those who have pride should repent of their sins and return to Jesus Christ. He can save you. Forget SWAT, send in the military. <laughs> Stevens was also interrogated for sharing a video showing a Christian preacher being arrested in London for Islamophobia because he read Bible passages in public. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Don't, don't, don't take my Bible with Preacher, Oluwole Ilsami, was later awarded £2,500 for wrongful arrest after a Labour Party commissar reported Councillor Stevens to the police for tweets sent to his checks notes. 76 followers, he was arrested for a hate crime. Frankly, it was frightening and no doubt intended to be so. I was then arrested and humiliated in front of my wife and children. Even if the police had legitimate questions to ask me, which I'm yet to hear, there was no need to ambush me in my own house, arrest me, search me, keep me in the cell for the whole day, interrogate me or confiscate my phone. You'll live to see horrors beyond your comprehension. And how about another example? A Twitter user posted a thread expressing concern about a man who dresses up as a baby, sucks on a dummy and wears nappies because he's been visiting local schools to do one-on-one -on -one therapy sessions with kids. The Twitter thread contained general information that was all publicly available, but the author was swiftly contacted by Northumbria police because his thread caused, quote, a lot of negative comments. The Fair Cop organisation then responded by reminding Northumbria police that, quote, we do not have precogs and you're not starring in the minority report. That people aren't responsible for comments made by third parties on social media sites. And that Article 10 of the UK human rights law includes the right to be offensive. Yeah, you may have been burgled, you may have been violently attacked in the streets, but at least you can sleep soundly at night knowing that crucial police resources are being devoted to patrolling response to social media posts. We're only talking about these three cases because the people involved alerted news outlets to what happened. Think of the thousands upon thousands of cases that never make the media. We're literally living under an institutionalised system of politicised thought policing, where the people, who are so oppressed that their flags adorn every major city now basically year-round, can claim you offended them and sick the police on you for disagreeing with their opinions. In the form of retweets, taking photographs on public streets and posting information that's publicly available on social media. And even as the police say they don't have the resources to deal with actual crime, and while actual crime continues to soar across the country, you'll get a home visit for suggesting there might be some issues with men being in female-only spaces, and you'll be interrogated for having an opinion shared by the majority of the population. <laughs> Summit Whole Food Multivitamin is sourced from 100% high quality natural food sources and loaded with natural immune support boosters. Boom! Then there's our vitamin C plus zinc with rose hips. Bosh! Reduce inflammation, supercharge your metabolism and support your body's tissue repair function. Then the rose hips protect you from the signs of aging and replenish your skin. Mm. Be in charge of your mind and help to support your brain operate at the highest potential by getting Summit Brain Support, which I take daily to increase my focus and concentration. And boom. 
It's absolutely stacked with cognitive enhancers such as Bacopa Herb Extract, L-Theanine and Alpha GPC. Reach new heights by elevating your health and wellness journey today. If you like my content and want to express your support while getting great supplements, go to summit.store where you'll find all the products plus worldwide shipping. That's summit.store or click the link in the description box down below.